Hello and welcome to the Tuesday night showdown here with the Greater Lowell Griffins going against our own Lynn Tech Tigers. And I I'm pumped up, I'm ready to go. I put some goals here that I saw from last game when they went against St. Mary's. And you know, to win this game I think is to give it to the big man. Uh, Edric and Jaden, they need to get more than that because they've been dominating the paint and they need to stay out of foul trouble. That, that's the two big things, staying out of foul trouble. Last game they got themselves into some foul trouble against St. Mary's and they lost the game by two. And that was very, very unfortunate. Let's make some noise! Oh, that's Mr. Reto, he's ready to go. And we are about to tip off. You have your, you have your seatbelt fastened right now? Okay, I do. Okay, because we are in for a game right now. Buckle up, get the popcorn. Is the popcorn out? The do popcorn you, is out. Okay, the popcorn's out, seatbelt's fastened, let's go. I'm fired up here. You know, it, listen, after this, uh, that intense game versus St. Mary's, let's see if, uh, let, let's see what type of momentum Lin Tech's going to bring in. You know, they had a fantastic victory versus Kip, and let's hope they can continue that um, in today's, the first home game after the city tournament. That was Brandon versus Brandon right there. Uh-oh, here we go. That's a, that's a nice showdown I'd like to see. I'm curious to see how fast of a start Lin Tech's going to have here. They need a fast start. Edric nice. with the rebound. Nice boy right there by Edric. Edric's been a beast all over the rebounds this, this, this season. Gio passes it to Andy. That's Jaden. Jaden with his own rebound. Goes back up, goes back up again. He lays it in. Oh, oh man, that was a barbecue chicken special right there. Not once, not twice, but three times. Easy, easy. It's only in the first minute. He's coming to play right here. I'll tell you what, the trees on the inside, the Twin Towers, uh, Jaden and, and uh, Edric. Um, this has been Edric's best season so far. Yes. It's been his best season so far, and I'll probably say the same thing for Caesar. It's really cool to see their senior year, the maturation, and how they're getting so much better. I was just going to say that's his best season, and it's his last season. Right. And I guess that's how it should be, right? Yes. That's a foul on Gio. He wants to stay out of that because last game, there was, a, there was a lot of reckless going on. It was a little intense. A little intense last game. We got a little fired up. We got posted on the Facebook. <laughs> That's how intense it was. Great atmosphere, though. It, it was awesome. Man. It was a good time. It was a great game to be a part of. That's Brendan with it. Going against Brandon. Number 14. Oh, a nice cross up. And that's number 23, Danny Luna. That's Luna right there. Yeah, I was looking at the wrong side. <laughs> that's Brandon. He passes it down to Jaden. Jaden goes up and he lays it in. That's. that's Danny Luna again with it. Oh, that's Brendan. Brendan passes it to corner. Good defense right here for the Tigers right now. Solid defense. And that's what you need. You need some good defense. That's Brendan to the paint. And that's Edric the tank with that rebound. Oh, and he gets it stolen away. Yeah, sloppy pass right there. Can't have that happen. And Brendan with the three. The Juista. And that was in and out right there. Rebounded by Gio, puts it in. That's tech ball with the throwaway right there. So the Griffin's record is, will be at one and five so far, right? One and five. So again, I, you know, Tech has a habit of times, I realize, of playing down to their competition and looking at, you know, and, and, and saying, you know, this might be a layup um, and playing up to their competition. So that same intensity Tiger Tiger versus St. Mary's I want to see in today's game. Jaden with the lucky, with the nice basketball roll right there. I tell you what, lucky, but he puts us up in the position to be lucky. Oh, that's a travel. That's a travel right there. But again, that's a suffocating defense of the Tigers. 
Danny Luna with the travel. Suffocating defense, allowing them, you know, the forcing the Griffins to make quick decisions, and you have things like that in travels and, uh, and, and mental lapses like that. Brandon Antwine. And that's, that's Edric. Gobbles up that rebound. But he could not finish, and that's I think that's going to be two on Gio. Oh, it's on Andy. Andy Batista with the foul. Gio looked back and was like, that was not me. That was not me. And it's good to see Caesar um, back in the rotation. He, he made his first appearance. Um, was it in the tournament or was it before? I'm trying to think. I think it, it was, was the tournament. Okay, yeah. No, you know, just a great life off the bench. Nice so, block. That move. And that'll be two shots for Andy. That was a foul by number 23, Danny Luna. I feel like I've said his name a lot. Good, you know, good job by Batista though, going to the bucket, creating the contact, almost a three-point play right there, but still having um, you know, the control to, to put up a shot and, and give himself a chance for a three-point play. Didn't make it, but good job being aggressive going to the bucket. That's what I want to see. I want to see them push the ball. I want to see the Tigers really push the ball and, and, and really force the issue right now offensively. I really like that huddle that they just had there. That was very nice. They all came together, circled up, and went in a little huddle. You know, one thing I noticed is that, uh, I mean, I, I saw, um, you know, last week we had a little team dinner over at Brothers Deli. One thing I like what Coach Bingham is doing is that I think the team generally likes each other. Yeah. And, you know, we've seen so many times, you know, in, in sports when teams don't like each other, it's, 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 it supposed to on the court. Now, obviously, it could still work like a Kobe and Shaq, but, um, but you know, I think when the team generally likes each other, it, it really makes it so much more fun to play. Yeah, I was, I was talking to Ethan about it, and we were talking about how they're not teammates, they're brothers. Right. They're not teammates. He said they are brothers off and on the court. Number 24, Alexander Ayim. Nice little, nice little matchup in there with Jaden. I know, I was really enjoying that. He shoots a three and he airs it out, but it, it will stay the Griffins' ball. That's an interesting name. Um, the Greater Little Griffins. I gotta find out what the heck is a Griffin. I, I think I had this conversation last year, actually, now that I think about it. it actually, it might have been with you, frankly. Was it with me? It might have been. <laughs> I think it might have been with Seamus. I don't know. And Edric snatches that out of the air like a fly. Well, you know, they didn't face him last year. It might have been soccer or something. I don't know. But yeah. I know we faced him at some point. I wonder what a Griffin looks like. Joe gives it to Edric. Oh, oh. Pass right and Edric there. was fouled. Did you see that? I did see that. Oh, what a pass right there. That was purdy. Division. That's what we call him division right there. The, what, what vision? What foresight? Gio's so good at that, too. He has such good vision on the court. Just gliding through the air, just finding people, passing it down the lane, and you have the tank that's finished and it's gobbling up. And Andrew Blues, you're a pretty good free throw shooter, misses the first. See a lot of big time celebrities in the house. I see Miss Spinucci in the house. I see uh, Mr. Turner in the house. I see Coach Runner. A lot of big timers here. It's Griffin's ball. He misses both of them. That's rare for Edric. A nice chat with. Um, uh, Gio's father uh, after the tournament. Uh, pleasure to meet him. And, uh, yeah, just raised such a fine son. That's Danny Luna with it. He passes it out. Oh, that's Brandon with the steal. Oh, it's a 5v4 right now. Number 24 again. Oh, and he airs it out. That's number 24, Alexander Ayim with the air. <laughs> that, that was, was a rejection right there. But I'll tell you what, I like the aggression by Batista. First and foremost, before that, he got the rebound. Great box out. Automatically outlet pass and started the run. It was a three on two. They should have finished it right there. They didn't. But that was all started by Batista. Get the rebound. Immediately look up. I think he picked up his second foul, though. I believe so. Danny Luna with it. He passes it to n number zero, Yadiel Delgado. Defense! 
Danny Luna, he's driving, and he scores. That's just, that's just a good offensive play right there, using his speed. I think Gio's got to be a little more aggr aggressive defensively because I think he can keep up with him. He gave him a little too much respect there defensively. Edrick with, got stuffed up, but it stays Tiger's ball. I like how he's staying aggressive, though, going to the paint, realizes no one can stop his offensive onslaught. You can only hope to slow him down. 100% agree with you. And it's Griffin's ball. Remember that St. Mary's game? We didn't sit down once. I know, that was scary. <laughs> I could feel the heat in here, though. Like, it was, like, really hot. It was, it was one of the best games I've ever been a part of. It really has. And Caesar comes to the game replacing the silencer. Caesar's a big part in this Tiger defense. Huge part. You know, I, he, he was in the starting lineup last year, but, you know, the progression of, of uh, Antoine, Antoine um, and, 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 and Reyes uh, injured himself last couple weeks of football, but I really like him off the bench with that offensive spark, or just the spark in general. That's Danny Luna with it going against Gio. I like that matchup. That's Yadiel Delgado. Passes it back to Danny Luna in the corner. The defense right there! Shot clock violation. That's textbook defense. That's how you play in the book of basketball. Section 1, ordinance, ordinance 1.2257, which clearly states what you just saw right there, frankly. That was some good defense. It was great defense. That's Travis bringing it up. Travis Sanchez. Jaden Welch passes it to Edric Gonzalez with the layup. Oh, great vision right there. Attracts the double team, knows there's someone open. Edric cuts to the bucket, open two-point shot. That's good basketball. Danny Luna drives in the paint, passes it to Edric. Look up immediately, look up, look up. You know, I think deep down inside, Edric really wishes he was a point guard. <laughs> Jaden gets his own rebound. He fights for it, and he scores. Oh, wow. He just took it out of his hand. That was what, a robbery. What a what? Took his lunch money. You big meanie. You big meanie. Oh, what a play. Jaden, are you proud of yourself? <laughs> Defense is starting to wake up for the Tigers. Danny Luna passes it to number 24, Alexander Ayim. I'm going to be called for a travel violation. I, I'll tell you what, I like this play, I mean, uh, Alexander, I mean, I mean, he's solid. I mean, got a, got long arms, good little matchup with uh, with Jaden. I, 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 I actually would want to be a little more aggressive, frankly, if I'm low right now. And he could dribble. We just saw him drive right. into the paint. Just took too many steps. Caesar Reyes. Oh, that was a nice, that, that would have been nice. He did a reverse layup right there. With the speed of Reyes. I don't think, he doesn't look fast, but his speed is, um, is, is really incredible. He's not fast, but he's kind of quick. You get what I mean on the court? You know, he, 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 has, he does a good job changing his speed, and we all know he can jump off the gym. He promised me a dunk, actually, for this season, so I'm waiting on it. We will be waiting on that, and we will probably lose our mind when it does happen, though. Shout out to Miss Hussey listening on the YouTube and everyone listening on YouTube right now. We love you. We appreciate you. And Brandon Antwine comes in for Gio. Giovanni Jean. So that's Gio and Andy both sitting right now because of their foul troubles. See, I don't like Edric getting taking down the ball right now, <laughs> but yeah, we want Edric in the paint. Like I said, I, for some reason, all big men all want to be point guards. He, Shaquille O'Neal dreamed to be a point guard. It's it's, it's, it's like a dream of, of big men just to to be a point guard. It's, it's innate. And that's Travis, Travis Sanchez, the sophomore with that floater. That's Caesar with the steal. 
And he lays it in. Oh, I thought I he was going to dunk. I thought he was going to dunk. I was going to lose it. <laughs> Another steal. That was by Edric that time. Travis bringing it down. He. Is that travel? Yeah, traveling violation. Try to have a little extra sauce on that pass in, in the coach's hand. Just, you know, just lay the ball up. No need for all the all the extra jazz. If you're going to do the extra jazz, you, you can't you can't travel. And that is the end of the first quarter. It's 18-10 Tigers. That first quarter went by fast. Yeah, flew by. Wow. I mean, I, I actually wasn't even paying attention. I'm not. Cause you know, I don't think it was a timeout called or a, a much much uh, free throws of any. Yeah, that was that was that went by quick. Right. But shout, nevertheless, shout out to Lens of Western Dallas. He did a great uh, mixtape. I uh, actually just re released one today, and did a great mixtape um, a couple weeks ago. So shout out to him, just former uh, Lin Tech uh, basketball alumni. Didn't he play football? No, he played baseball, and he played. I'm not sure he played football. I know he played baseball and basketball. Yeah, I know he played baseball and basketball. I wasn't sure if he played football though. I know that was the one year I didn't play. And the Sunday's the banquet for football. I'm gonna be named. I'm gonna be head captain. That's awesome. Next year. Man. Listen, well deserved. You've been captain since like you've been born, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I played freshman year, started in the playoffs, and then became captain sophomore year. Listen, it, it's well deserved, and I'm super excited for you next season. Very excited. So, uh, should be good. Yeah. So, shout out to the football team, Coach Ryan. See Coach running here. Just wanted a great job. Doing a great job. The program. So it is 18-10 going into the second quarter. And I think I think it should be higher than that right now. Yeah, I think so. I think Lintex dominated the game. Um, we don't necessarily see in the score, but we'll see. I mean, listen, um, second quarter, we'll, we'll see if they, you know, they can put the pedal to the metal here and, and really try to stretch out this lead. He is jacked. That is number 25. Just coming down here like he owns it, Grayson oh, wow. McDonald. That's a the big boy. That's a large man right there. <laughs> I don't want to get in his bad side. <laughs> Edric's, Edric's saying, I got him. That's Grayson McDonald. He passes it out. Grayson McDonald in the paint. He goes to lay it in. And that is foul. Foul right there. I think that's on Edric. Do you guys face Greta Lowe in football? Yes. Okay. I believe so. I just don't remember you guys playing them this season. Like, no, we played Lowell Catholic. Okay. Speaking of Lowell Catholic, I think we're playing Lowell Catholic this year as well. For football? For, for basketball. Oh, for basketball. That's Alexander Ayim. He missed the first one. I'm going to have to look on that. And he makes the second one. So it is 18-11. Tigers. That's Edric. He goes in tough. That was a tough. He's going in fast. Listen, I would have got out the way. That would have been a business decision for me. I'm like, you know what? Why don't you enjoy your layup? Because he was going in 90 God. miles an hour with no breaks. That's a one-on-one. -on -one. Number 24 going in for Edric. Finally finds somebody. That's number two, Brendan DeJosta. And that's McDonald with the big leg. Just gobbles it up right there. Big bad McDonald. Oh, Cesar Reyes with the nice moves. Whoop! He went too quick. He went too quick. That's Danny Luna passing it up to number zero, Yadiel Delgado. And he's waiting for something to happen. He passed it to McDonald. 
Ayim with it. He he steps, and he's not there. McDonough, though, good hustle. I tell you what, they're they're getting opportunities, but first of all, uh, Jaden, great job in the rebounds, but um, they get opportunities, but they're just not making them. I mean, they're getting shots here. That was like three or four. That was a three four possession right there. Russia by Awan, taking time on that one, do a power dribble, go to the bucket, little baby hook shot. Take your time. Have plenty of time on that one. Oh, nice steal by Brandon. Two on one. And he's fouled. I think Brandon's been a little offensive rut uh, last couple of games. Um, I like that he's aggressive on that play. I mean, he's a shooter, and shooters keep shooting. He's got two shots. And he misses the first one. He's got one more shot. And this is Brandon Antoine. I I played fourth grade and fifth grade basketball with Brandon. Oh, isn't that nice? Yes. A little, little Brandon trivia. Lincoln Thompson. There you go. We dominated. Look at the domination right here. Wow. Oh He's dominating oh. on defense. Oh, come on. That was a little late. That's a bag of beans. I said I was, was going to take it easy on the refs today. I, was gonna I get, did. Yes. Okay, you're going to be so proud of me today, Angel. I'm going to be so good. Okay, I'm going to behave myself. I'm going to be so good today. You're going to be so proud of me. <laughs> that was a bag of beans. <laughs> That's Jadiel Delgado going against Travis Sanchez. Delgado with it. Passes it to... Ayim, I believe. Oh, that's a meatball right there. You gotta make those layups. I saw that. I mean, I, you gotta make that. That's a bunny. I, I swear, Caesar <laughs> intercepted. Caesar intercepted that pass because that was definitely meant for for uh, Antoine. That was awesome. Brandon. Brandon Antoine was open in the corner, but he did miss it. And that was number two. Damian Jackman. We might get a timeout here because they're making a little run right now. Four-point game. You know, they're going on a 5-1 to one run to stop the second quarter. It was 18-10, and they're going to call a timeout right now. Oh. This is kind of an ugly game right now. So here we go. Another, so, missed layup right there. Probably could easily be a tied game. 5-1 to one run here to stop the second quarter. Tigers struggling offensively. If the Griffins made their shots that they've had, then they would be in the lead right now. Oh, brother. I mean, this, you know, they're just missing, like, layups right now. And, and Coach Bingham sees it. He's not a happy camper. He comes to, wants to take the time out figure out what the heck is going on over here. So, 5-1 to one run. It was 18-10. to 10. Now it's 19-15. to 15. Um... It's kind of ugly right now. Yeah, I mean, listen, you got you got a couple of your offensive scores, Gio, Andy, and Edric on the bench. You know, your offensive ma machines over here. So um, I would expect them, one of them, to come back into the game, kind of reestablish some order. Um, uh, Andy's in foul trouble, but uh, he only has two, so he's okay going into the second quarter. But um, I, I probably put you know one of them in just to establish some order. Mm -hmm. Um, but in turn, a lot of, there are a lot of way too many second chance opportunities. Yeah. Way too many second chance opportunities. I think, in my opinion, if the Griffins made their shot, they would be in the lead right now. They missed a lot. But I do not see Andy or Gio going out there. It is Junior, Edric Gonzalez, Travis, Travis Sanchez. Jaden Walsh, I believe that is Christian Castillo, Castillo. And that is a travel already. And it is Greater Lowell Ball. Oh, they're doing the trap. He throws it away. Edrick. Look at him go, running, running, bubbling, stumbling. 
My man, Edric. No breaks, Edric. That's what I call him. No breaks. He just runs down like, <laughs> like, I don't understand. I would just go on the floor and just duck down. It was, it was, if he was a quarterback, you know what his favorite play would be? Everyone just go. <laughs> What's the play this time? Everyone just go. It's Edric go. <laughs> That'd be one. That would be one good play, though. <laughs> they actually, they're actually Brett Favre. McDonald, what a what a beast right there. This can't finish though. All that toast, no jelly. That was a good rebound by Jaden though. With uh, they're interviewing Brett Favre, like Brett, what was what was your favorite play in football? He said like, everyone just go. <laughs> <laughs> that explains a lot the way he played. Travis threw it away. Oh no, that's a foul for Yadiel Delgado. He's going to the line for two. They can make this a two-point game. Now, coach and staff and assistants trying to say, hey, you know, let's, let's, let's step up here. Keith Chandler Jr. and uh, Stead Bordeaux. He makes the first one, Yadiel Delgado. He's got one shot left. Uh, speaking of that, shout out to uh, Stead. Uh, it was his birthday last week. So happy birthday to Stead. I'm not sure if he wants to say his age on air, but happy birthday to him. I didn't even notice Coach Jerry was down there. He's at the edge. Oh, there he is. He's at the edge of the bench. I was like, oh, he didn't come today. I think they got to get a score here. Absolutely. I mean, we're talking about a six. The Tigers only scored one point in the second quarter. And we're almost done. There's 3.30 left in the second quarter. You know, we can't have these droughts here. One point in the second quarter right now. Another turnover right here. This this this, this is, is getting sloppy. I, I think we um Tigers need a little more point guard play right now. Um couple couple ball handles, maybe maybe Gio or Batista just to, to get some ball handling here. That's McDonald going to the paint and he gets fouled. But, you know, having said, this is a good experience for the young kids. You know, uh, you know, Keith Chandler, great experience for him. You know, listen, you're, not, you're, you're running the offense right now, okay? It's on your shoulders. Start the offense. Let's see what you're going to do because, you know, you know, Keith's a freshman, right? Yeah. Okay. And right. he started for varsity last year. He was in eighth grade. Okay, well, there you go. This is going to be, this is going to be, you know, your team in a couple of years. So why not start now in terms of, you know, uh, you know, showing a little leadership in terms of running the offense. So it's a good test. He makes both of them. It is 19 to 18. As well as you have Ramirez in the game as well. Yeah, they need a big bucket right here. He gives it to Jaden, and Jaden scores. That's big right there. They needed that one. They two, your, your big guys on the inside. There's Jaden Welch with that one. Sorry, Castillo's in the game. I think I, was, I think I said Ramirez. Castillo, I apologize. <coughs> Christian with the rebound. He's got to pass it up. Gives it to Keith. Keith! Oh, blocked. Got to go up there, shot a little more confidence. Right there. A little too hesitant with that. Got to have confidence in that shot. I'm not sure who that foul was on. Number two, Damian Jackman that was on. I would just keep pounding it in the paint right now. I mean, I have a good little matchup here, but I think talent-wise, Jaden and Edrick, you know, are, are, are far superior right now in terms of getting able to get a buck in the paint. They're trying to get something going. Move around, set a screen, do something. This is tough. Oh my god. And finally gets a bucket. What an up fake right there by Gonzalez. 
had them flying. That was a great bucket that, by Junior. <laughs> that big magic had three people jumping up. I think it was a pass. He should have gotten an assist on that. i tell you what, I mean, I'll take it. What's going on over here? Referee trying to figure out, get control of the game. 153 left in the first half. It's 23 to 18. What about under two minutes? They're trapping. The trap has been working because they've been getting steals off of him. And that's a Yi with the and one. I'll tell you what, that's a man's move right there. And you've been talking about him all game. I'm a big fan of his. That's bully ball. <laughs> listen, I'm not, listen, I'm in tech to the core, but I, when I like when I see good basketball, I'll, I'll, I'll mention that, that's a good play. That's Cesar Reyes going back in. Coach Runner's all fired up right now. He's listening to happy with that call. We got Coach Runner. We got Coach Marcus. Everyone's all fired up here. Oh, no. Could have tied up the game right there. Can't let those things happen. You got to box out and you got to get the rebound. How are they going to finish out the quarter here? Minute 20 left. How are they going to finish out? Oh, God. Oh, boy. They're getting opportunities. They're. Oh, God. And pass to Caesar. I'll tell you what, Edric, the point guard, run the offense through me. He says, top of the key. Oh, oh my God, Edric's everywhere. What a play right there by Gonzalez, my hero. And this play right here, a lot of potential. I like him, Xavier. Um, freshman, got big heart, plays tough. We're going to hear a lot of his name in the next couple of years. That I can guarantee. Is that I can guarantee? I've got to know Xavier a little bit. He's a nice kid. Awesome, awesome person. Very funny, I'll tell you. I thought they were matching shoes for a minute. I thought my eyes were going. Oh, that's a big shot by Yadiel Delgado. It's 25-23. About 30 seconds left. And we got to wait the shot on that one. That's Caesar with the bank shot. That's veteran presence, leadership. Get on my back. That's a foul. I think that was by Edric. Let's talk about the seniors. Can we talk about the seniors? Edric. Let's talk about Edric. Let's talk about Caesar Reyes. Let's talk about how they established some order here when the Tigers are struggling. Now, having said that, still not the best quarter of all time. When he scored eight points so far in the, in the third quarter, check that nine points as opposed to 14. But when you're by down, the Griffin, but they put some key buckets. Sorry, sorry to interrupt you. Oh no, you're good. When you're down, you're expecting your seniors to come out of nowhere and right. to, you know help you out. We got ball game here, Angel. Okay, we got ball game here. Tigers got to wake up right now. Seven seconds left in the second quarter. And he banks it in, Junior. And it is halftime. 29-26 at half. What, what do you think the Tigers should do in the, in the second half? Second chance opportunities. Too many second chance opportunities. Um, for the Griffins right now. Too many second chance opportunities. And right now what we need to do, okay, is we gotta box out. We got box out limits these second chance opportunities. Frankly, they probably should be up in this game great or low with the amount of layups that they missed. Okay, that's number one. Number two, they gotta push the ball. Continue to push the ball. Okay, you got two ex outstanding guards. Okay, now a couple of them are in foul trouble. But listen, you have athletic guards, athletic wings, use that to your advantage, push the ball, and if they do that, listen, that's barbecue chicken all day. They should win the game. Hey, shout out to Mr. Khan in the house. Wow, I'm amongst greatness right now. But um, I, I, that's what they got to do. Yeah, they just frankly. need to be more patient. They need to be more patient with the ball. Don't rush. 
you know, and we need to get some layups in. That's what they need to do. And I think this should be – I think Lowell should be up right now. They should be up right now. But you know what I should be doing right now? I should be getting something to eat because I'm hungry. It's halftime. All right, it is halftime. <laughs> Mr. Rato is hungry. We will be back very, very soon in the second half. Hello and welcome back to second half basketball and already a big start. That was a big three by Brandon Antoine for Tech. You know, we were talking about before the second half started and how we need them to stop turning the ball over and, you know, be more patient. And already Brandon started with a big three. That's Brandon again. Oh, hit the rim. Whoa. Coach Runner is not happy about that call. How could you tell? <laughs> I heard, come on, man. <laughs> that is, that is a huge three by number 23, Danny Luna. I couldn't really see, there's people everywhere in front of me, but I know that was Danny Luna. And it was a quick timeout for Greater Lowell. And it is a three point game. Oh, Backflips on the court. That is Avery on the cheerleading team with all those backflips making me dizzy over here. Those are 10 out of 10, those backflips were pretty cool. I really like the beat. It's like it's game time. Andy's calling something. He's saying, let's go. We got to get down the court. Edric pass to Jaden, and Jaden misses it. We're going to find out real quick what type of team Lynn Tech is in the next couple minutes. They played, a, they, they played ugly basketball in the second quarter, but sometimes you got to win ugly. And what, what type of team they're going to come out here in the third quarter? What type of gut check you're going to have? You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. What type of gut check we're going to have right now? They know they shouldn't. They shouldn't have been that sloppy. They know. They know, they know, they know. Isn't that song? Like a Drake song or something? Yeah, it is. It's really old, actually. Oh, yeah? So, what do you, whoa, whoa. That is a very old song. Whoa. <laughs> so, what are you implying here? Let's get to the let's get to the bottom of this. What are you implying? Mr. Ratto, you look like you're in your 20s. Tough you're guy. Fine. You're okay. good. You're good. Tough guy. You want a piece of me? <laughs> Jill with a steal. He's gonna dunk it! <laughs> I thought he was gonna dunk it! He got me! Is this the Tigers I wanna see right here? They started with a big three by Brandon. I said this is gonna be a good hat. Right there, right then and there, I knew it. That's number number two. Damian Jackman with the travel. He did not think so. Who, who, who really readily admits a travel, though? <laughs> I know. <laughs> but my foot was planted. <laughs> I, I'll never forget um, a something play. I'll tell you after this play right here. <laughs> That's Edric. Oh, my God. Just gobbles it up. He's got the ball from the Raptors. Oh, my God. It's like he's catching a fly in the air. So, so what was the Celtics thing? So I remember Doc Rivers. What's up, my man? This car, I'm gonna exit with it. Okay, so Doc Rivers, hold on for one sec, guys. I gotta do some uh, PA work. Hold on. <laughs> Mr. Ratto's having some, uh, he's gonna have to make an announcement in a minute, but I, I'm so interested in the story that he's about to tell. So interested. 
Number 23 dribbling around, Danny Luna. Waiting for something to happen, but the defense is just crazy. That's McDonald with it. He can't get anything going. There's three seconds on the shot clock. And the shot clock resets, and it's a jump ball. And it stays Griffin's ball. That's number two with it now. Damian Jackman, he passes out to number zero, Yadiel Delgado. Eventually I'll get to that Celtic story. <laughs> Danny Luna. <laughs> Maybe between quarters. <laughs> Everyone's like, man, it better be a damn good story. I was I waiting so long. I just Doc Rivers. <laughs> <laughs> People are like, what about Doc Rivers? <laughs> We gotta get through this Bill Belichick thing in a little bit. We'll, we, oh we have, God! We talked about that. So they fired Mike Vrabel. I'm not sure about that. I know. So today, right? The puppet master is uh, in the works right now. <laughs> right. Oh! Pick this pocket. Oh! That was a nice layup by number two, Damian Jackman. And that was a foul by Danny Luna. So the Tigers will take it out on the side. I'm so interested in this story. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even focus. <laughs> my God. I'm like Damian Jackman. Oh, Duck Rivers. That's all I can hear in my head. <laughs> Geo with the floater and in. That was a beautiful shot. It's Danny Luna again. Passes it to Ymir. Passes it to Ymir again. And that's a rebound by Jaden Welch. And that's a foul. Sub comes in, that's number one. Brendan DeJusa. And it's Tiger Ball. That's Andy with the three. Andy's. Oh no. Charlie right wow. there. Nice move right there, but just took the extra step. I actually didn't see the travel much. I know. This, there was a lot of traveling calls that has been called so far. But this trap has been working for the Tigers. What an <laughs> interception God. right there. That was, in a, that was in a steal. That was an interception. Oh, that's a foul. Edrick got two shots. I'll tell you what, he made one heck, heck of a safety. I was, losing my, I was about to lose my mind and go, Air one! <laughs> I was ready for it. Edric makes the first one. He's one for three on the night and free throws. So Tigers, they're up by 10. I never feel like they've lost control of the game, though. I feel like they kind of... Just, you know, putting the foot on the gas just enough to keep the lead, but not really pushing it. And again, I think it's sometimes, you know, you, you tend to play down to your competition, um, you know, which, which you don't want to see. But that is a natural, a natural thing to happen. Like the Celtics almost losing to, to the Detroit Pistons. Right. That was terrible. Well, the thing about Detroit, Detroit is going to get everyone's best now. Well, at least at one point they got everyone's best because nobody wants to be that team. To, to, for the uh, losing streak to be broken from. In Detroit, they have a good team. I don't think they're that bad of a team. 
Yeah, it's, it's funny to say that. They're, they're two and twenty, but they, they're, I, I see what you're saying. They're really not that bad. Like they're very young and they have good talent on the team. That's number twenty-three, Danny Luna. Back to Danny Luna. He goes to the paint, gives it to McDonald. McDonald shoots it at the ceiling. It bounces out. Oh my God, a lot of rebounds over here. The ball's going flying. Passes it to number 35. He drives and he scores. That's David Sandin. Coming off the bench and he scored. Eight point game, Tyus can't quite pull away. That's Travis with his own rebound. Good hustle right there. Gio with the steal and he got fouled. I think he stepped out of bounds, did he? Was it a foul? Okay. Nonetheless, the Raiders will come to the game after this whistle. You'll never see when Caesar's not ready to go. Always ready. He's always ready to go. Every time I talk to him, he's ready. One of my favorite players on the team. <laughs> Let's hope none of them watch that. <laughs> Some Caesar. <laughs> They're gonna be like, "What about me?" No, I made that very clear. Caesar's one of my favorite players on the team. I'm, I'm not hiding. I'm not hiding by that one. I'm not hiding behind that one. Caesar is one of my favorite teammates I've ever had. Probably one of the most. Caring teammates I've ever had. Oh, Edric said thank you for the ball. <laughs> You're so nice. Everyone's so nice today. <laughs> That's Caesar in the corner. Back to Andy. And I said one of my favorite players on the team. It could be. It could be more than one. And he lays it in. And that's another favorite player right there. I can't wait to see when Gio and Andy are seniors. That's going to be fun. They'll be running the but, show. But, but listen, I'm, I'm appreciating this right now. I'm appreciating, you know, their growth. Um, and, you know, you know this, first of all, they're awesome people. I mean, Andy, you know, obviously I'm biased. He's TV media. One of my favorite players as well, too. Um, but just uh, this is such great people, and they're easy to root for. And like we said, we have to deal with Andy every day. Yeah. TV media. <laughs> Super talented, too. Obviously, you know, he's one of the voices of the Tigers. Uh, excellent photographer. Excellent announcer as well as yourself. 130 left in the third. 45-33 Tigers. And that's a foul again for Gio. For a push in the back. And Coach Corey is just taking a seat <laughs> on the speaker. That's like, you know what, man? <laughs> He's like, yeah. He's like, what can you say? And a travel. <laughs> Coach Corey's letting them know that they didn't get a bucket that time. <laughs> oh, no. That's. I, I wouldn't say that was a travel, but they did call a travel on that, on Edric. All right, brother. Good to see you, man. Right. Yep, absolutely. And that's a jump ball. That was Geo. Giovanni Jean and David Sandin on the floor rolling around for the ball. Tigers have an opportunity to pull away here. 12 point game. Let's see if we can push the 15 right now. Oh, that looks good. Hits the front rim. We don't see Gio shoot too many threes. He's more of a slasher. <laughs> a steal by Caesar. Gio's going. And he gets it in. That's his game right there. Wheeling and dealing. Slash into the bucket. Is that what you were talking about? The slash? That's what I'm talking about right there. Look at Caesar. Ten second violation. Red toe credit. Caesar Reyes, my hero. 
he has a lot of heroes. Mr. Rato will always be remembered as a guy with a lot of heroes. Effort, this is effort right there, effort. Gio with the floater! You know how hard that is to do? Running at that speed, having the touch with the, do you know how hard that is? What a player. Oh, oh no! He almost took off his head for crying out loud. But they said, you know what, there was in, he was in his- uh, Airspace. Yeah, yeah, whatever you call it. That's, that's the new, uh, Buzzword now, airspace. He also hit him in the face. Yeah. <laughs> We're not gonna, just want to make that clear. <laughs> it's the buzzword now, airspace. So still, are they in the penalty? So two free throws here, double bonus. That's Christian McDonough over here in some pain. But trainer Joe's here to the rescue. 8.6 on the clock in the third. 49-33. 34. That is number zero, Yadiel Delgado. He makes the first one. And he makes the second one. So it's 49-35. Under eight seconds. And Edric gets it in. 51-35 in the third. At the end of the third, going into the fourth. That was the announcement that we were talking about earlier. Oh, now that it's fourth quarter, maybe we'll get the we'll get the story coming soon. Cause I'm so interested in this. You know, so Eric, right, so we got all the time to tell us. It's actually not even a great story. Like that's a lot of pressure now. It was like an amazing story. <laughs> but so I go back to the story talking about you know a player would never admit when you know he or she creates a foul. They're, they're never going to really freely admit, freely admit that. So there was a, a playoff game where Doc Rivers told Kendrick Perkins to intentionally foul somebody. Kendrick Perkins says yes, I will intentionally foul him. Kendrick Perkins intentionally fouled him. The referee called the foul. And Kendrick Perkins was upset that he called the foul. Even though he knew he was going to intentionally foul him. <laughs> and I just found it hilarious how no one's going to admit that they had a foul, even though it was an intentional foul. So that was the story. Yeah, that was the story. Was that, was that a kind of like a buzz Everybody kill? was like, oh. oh. Was that it? That's it. That's it. <laughs> You're getting posted on the Facebook. <laughs> Terrible. When you say the Facebook, that means you're over like 70. <laughs> the Facebook, the TV, the computer, the YouTube. <laughs> and that's Caesar with the layup, 53-35. That just makes you sound really old, doesn't it? Tanner off the computer, the Facebook. I had a long test today, I'm tired. <laughs> So uh, let's hope someone moved their car in the parking lot that was in the way. That was more annoying. I was actually watching a Seinfeld episode where someone double parked. Imagine that and there's no cell phones and you can't move. That was, that's got to be miserable. So can I tell you, what a play right there. So there was an episode where this person double parked, Angel, right? Yep. Double parked and then he needed to pick up somebody. There was no cell phones. So he was double parked waiting for the person to move their car for an hour while the other person was waiting for them. Oh, that yeah. is crazy. Speaking of crazy, what a crazy, terrible call that was. That was all ball. That's a, that, 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 uh, that, that, that's bull jive. <laughs> Even though there's a lot of bad calls going on right now, Coach Corey's not, not happy. I'm happy because they have really turned around this game. Yeah, almost a 20-point game right now, uh, 18 points, not 17. But, uh, you know, they finished the quarter strong. Doesn't uh, Miss O'Connor look so cool with his hat right now, backwards? It's so cool right now. Oh, yeah, he does. With the, with the army, the army colors. You put your hat backwards? No. Oh. No. Oh, okay. 
I'm not a big uh, hat person, honestly. I'm a beanie guy. Yeah, okay. I like beanies. Caesar in the corner. Travis just told Andy, get out of my face and go to the other side. <laughs> Edric with a nice move. Oh, oh no. So we're not gonna call so we're not calling it on this side. Cause I heard the foul. Never one saw the foul. I heard it from here. You didn't hear that slap from I here? I did, I did. Jeez Louise. I'm not going to be calm today, okay? I told everyone I'm going to be calm. I'm not going to be young anybody. Everyone's going to be so proud of me today. I'm going to keep my composure. I don't know. You guys are going to be so proud of me today. We're going to be proud of him today. Yes. I'm going to make everyone so proud. Travis wide open for the three. In and out. That's tough. That's number two bringing it up for the Griffins. That's Damian Jackman. Number 23, Danny Luna. Passes it back to Damian Jackman. He drives. He gets it stolen by Caesar. Oh, nice fake. And he lays it in. Oh, wow, what an up fake right there. Had him flying. That's Damian Jackman. He passes it up to Ayim. Ayim gets fouled. <laughs> all the coaches that come on at the same time. <laughs> Yeah, they all say it the same way. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> you know, you spent too much time with each other. <laughs> you start finishing each other's sentences. <laughs> Jaden Walsh takes a seat. And they all have the game. same stance. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're all sitting. <laughs> I'd be terrified if I looked over to the bench. <laughs> Travis passes it. Oh, Edger can't find it. Edger gets stolen by number two, Damian. It's a big layup. I mean, a big rebound by Andy. And the coach is saying to push it. I agree. Me and coach are on the same page over here. Push the ball. And Travis with the, the floater. The floater right there. Great job. Really finding a weak spot in the defense right there. Stops and pops. That's number 23, Danny Luna. He gets it stolen by Edric. He's going to dunk it. Oh. <laughs> I don't think he has that lift. Uh, I don't think yeah, so. Yeah. <laughs> if that was Caesar on the other yeah, hand. He had much lift right there. He didn't get more than a one inch off the ground. That's Caesar. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> the Birdman! Oh! 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 The Birdman! The aerodynamics! Oh! 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 Look at him go! <laughs> wow, what a play right there. This is fun. 15 points by, for Edric, she just said. 15 points by the tank. I thought it was more than that. Oh, this song just, this song is the best anyway. Man, it's so, okay. All right, so this song reminds me of the Patriots. <laughs> it reminds me of the Celtics. It reminds me of the Patriots. It reminds me of when Tom Brady's in that tunnel with his eyes. In the tunnel and with his eyes. I'm fired up for the Super Bowl. You know what I mean? Ready to go. And I'm fired up. I miss those days. The, the announcer brought up something really huge on Sunday's game against when the Patriots went against the Jets. They said they're not going to remember Bill Belichick for this season. They're going to remember him for the Super Bowl. I'm going to remember him for kicking out Tom Brady. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm not going to forget that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, we have another car needs to be moved to Honda, license plate. 4PR E29. 4PR E29. 4PR E29, Honda needs to be moved. <laughs> Mr. Reto did say the double parked. <laughs> you did say the double parked. Yes. <laughs> we got four minutes and 22 seconds left in the fourth. 59.37. There's a lot of people in the parking lot right now. <laughs> that is Andy with the big Wait, I'm rebound. trying to think a Honda. Wait, hold on. A Honda what? Wait. No. No, I have a Honda Civic and I'm parked in the back. Right? My license plate. Do you know right your there. license plate? No, mine starts with a Y. I'm good. <laughs> he just rethinked life. <laughs> <laughs> he made the announcement for himself. Wait, hold on. <laughs> nah, that's not my car. What if, what if it's my car? I do have a Honda. I have a Honda. He's going to start running outside. <laughs> nah, I'm good. I'm going to just run out the lobby. Just, hold on. I'll be right back. I got to take care of something. <laughs> <laughs> he just made the announcement for himself. <laughs> Ooh, and it's 59-37 in the fourth with like four minutes left. You know, speaking of a traffic story, I got a lot of stories. So before this, I was I worked I worked for the city. I was the communications director, and um, you know, one of, part of my job was to if there was a traffic announcement, I had to announce it online and on Facebook and all that stuff. So there was a big construction that needed to be done. So I made the announcement. I made a YouTube video on it and everything. I'm driving to work, and I'm like, "Yo, what's up with all this traffic?" It was the same traffic I made the announcement with. I didn't even listen to my own announcement. He's been like, oh. I'm like, oh, yeah, I was the one that did that. Yeah, <laughs> I made that announcement. That was me. Travis with a nice move. He floats it. And, oh, I feel like Travis got screwed on a lot of these shots. They, like, bounced in and out. Oh, let me just, oh, I'll be back. <laughs> He's got to go check his car. <laughs> He's storming. All right, I forgot I had a game to an announce. I had a game to announce. All right, let's figure this out. All right, <laughs> Cesar Reyes, back to Brandon, and that's Danny. That's Luna, and he lays it in. It is 59:41 with three minutes left. All right, it wasn't mine. We're all safe. False alarm. <laughs> I'm good. Caesar in the corner. Passes it to Edric. Oh, that's barbecue chicken all day. Oh, what a rejection, though. And Junior with it. Oh, what a rejection. Put him in the friend zone. Sixty-one forty-one with less than three minutes left. And that's another steal. I'll tell you, Edric played a hell of a game. He's all fired up. Oh, here comes Biggie. All right, here we go. Biggie. Let's go. Edric is not a happy camper. <laughs> I thought he was about to t just run into Co Coach Corey. No, it was, it, was, it, was a it was a chest bump. I didn't, I, yeah. yeah, I didn't know that. It was a chest bump. Okay. That's number two with it. Damian Jackman, he passes number 21. He misses it, that was Edmir. Junior's going, he's going full head of steam. Oh, Emmanuel! I tell you what, if he scores, this place is gonna lose it. I wanna see an Emmanuel rejection. I wanna see a dunk. He's seven one. <laughs> Is he? No, I oh. mean I think he's got to be like six, six eight six. I was just gonna say six five. Six five. No, I mean he might be tall. I, I I gotta see. Well, of course I can see, but you know what I mean. 
Well, I want to I just want to give a shout out to the crew. Um, the Harley. I want to give a shout out to Diana, who was here earlier. I want to give a shout out to Andy Batista, who's um, getting some shots early in the JV game. Uh, right now, I want to give a shout out to Jaron, just joined the TV Media Dream Team. Um, appreciate you. But I want to give a major shout out to Zach. Zach is uh, becoming, uh, as well as you and, and many others, but Zach's becoming a, a leader in shop. Um, just really one of the hardest workers I know. God's not true. So uh, I'm really lucky to be his teacher. So I want to give a major shout out to Zach. He did all eight games at the Wolverine tournament. All eight. Four games Thursday, four games on, on and it, uh, it was fun. On Friday, yep. Non-stop though. And he's just ready to work all the time. Christian with the three. Oh. That would have been crazy. That was Christian Castillo. Castillo. Number 21 with it. Edmir. That's number 10. Oh, and he airs it out. You know, um, Griffiths are going to lose this game, but I want to give them a shout-out. I mean, they hung, hung tough. I mean, the latter part of the third quarter, Ethan. Latter part of the third, they um, they kind of fell off, but they they came here and they fought. To, you know, so I got, maybe a shout-out to the coaching staff and Greta Lowe um, and all their players. They play tough. I, I have a lot of respect for them. Their record doesn't indicate the talent they have on the team. I, obviously, I think it's a talent gap. Um, but they play hard, and I want to give kudos to them. So they should be proud of themselves hold their head up high. 100% agree with you. I just think they missed a lot of Missed layups. a lot of layups. And listen, if they made half of those layups, we had a different ball game here. They're going to try to get Mania a bucket here. <laughs> if he dunks, I'm going to go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on over here? Two, three, two, three. Well, they're back on defense. 35 seconds left. Oh, drain. Number 35, David Sandin. Fourteen seconds left. Tigers ball, and that will, that will pretty much do it. It's a good win. Um, ugly second quarter, but I thought they really picked up and really, um, you know, shows a lot of testament, shows their attitude, shows their heart. Third quarter, they turned it around and they showed them what type of Tiger team they are. So, super proud of them. And that is a Tigers W. I love the way, like Mr. Reto said, the way they changed around. Had a better second half. You know, it was just a great win. It was a great team win. I like seeing the bench get in there. But my name is Angel Figueroa out of, out of TV Media, also known as Sideline Reports. Also join with Mr. Ratto, and we will see you next time. Hey, game ball, Edric, right? Can we agree on that? Oh, yeah, Edric, yeah, 100%. We'll see you guys later. Hi, Mom.